Hello YouTube. Friday afternoon. A little after five o'clock. Had to check my watch, my clock. Um Yeah. The bottom's falling falling out of the steel, man. It's almost not worth it anymore. I brought in my rotors. 190 a ton. I had 1,100 pounds, so needless to say, I got just over 100 bucks. I have the other cast yet. <clears throat> I might bring that in tomorrow. They're open for half a day. That's 130 a ton. Shred's gone down to 70 bucks a ton, which is what? Three and a half cents a pound? And I was told that next week, it's even going to drop more. Now this is just in my town, Sarnia. I don't know what everybody else is doing. So anyways, I went and got rid of them rotors. You all know I'm going to be working on my truck. Wow, well, look what I got. A southern box. It has zero rust on it. This is where the taillights were. Some poor sap bought it from down south about a month or so ago. Practice truck. So there it's at. It's got a spray in bed liner. I'll show you what the bottom looks like because it's upside down on my trailer. Hopefully the sun ain't screwing too much up. Look at that. I do believe it's been undercoated a little bit. So since I have it off of there, I'm going to clean it up and see what I got to do to it. This thing should outlast me considering my truck is 25 years old. It's not the uh, color I prefer, but it is good. See, even in the gas cap, there's no rust in there. Unleaded fuel only. And that still latches. The spring is still in it. <clears throat> the only thing is, it's got stripes. Mine didn't. That rubber, it would line up with my truck perfectly. So that's the box taken care of. Now you had the doors too, that match the box. The only difference is that rubber mold on that one said 2500, mine's a 1500. Those doors are getting a little crusty. I have the new panels for the back, so forget about the box, the box is taken care of. I have the panels, I'm debating whether or not to get the doors. The doors are in just as good a shape. And they match my interior. That was a nice thing. With all the power locks and power windows and everything. And even the same interior on the door. See, my rocker panels aren't in that bad of shape. So these are repairable. You can't tell from this side the door. But I'm debating whether or not. But the one thing I don't like about Chevy's is they weld the hinges on. So you have to pop the hinge pins. I wish they'd put them in with bolts. Chrysler did. Made it so much easier. But the door is still closed perfect. But they're a little crusty. So. This door is the same. A little bit of an overbite there. Rocker panel's the same. It's not bad. But I got the panels for both sides. So the box will be taken care of. I have another set of these, so I don't even have to take these off. I'll modify them because I got to get a headache rack in here. I don't want to be buying another window. Holy, I didn't even notice that. That box even has a twist to it a little bit. She's been loading heavy. So that'll be a neat trick. I gotta pick up some bolts because chances of my bolts not doing it. There's one, two, three, four, eight bolts, so it doesn't take much. <clears throat> Other than dusty. Like look at that. That's 
back up by the cab. I wish I could show you the bottom, but then I'd have to take it off the trailer and flip it up. I don't know how well we can see under there. I have it sitting on 4x4 four four so it sits better. No, I don't have it super tight because then I'd be bowling the truck. See if we can see in there a little bit.